dear students in this short video we will talk about transfer function transfer function is a mathematical expression used in the analysis and modeling of linear time invariant systems by definition a transfer function is a ratio of system output to the system input expressed in the frequency domain assuming all the initial conditions to be zero let us assume x omega is the fourier transform of the input signal and y omega is the fourier transform of the output signal by definition the transfer function h omega is equal to y omega divided by x omega similarly the laplace transform can also be used for expressing the transfer function which is written as hs is equal to ys divided by xs now let us consider the relationship between laplace transform and fourier transform by definition a continuous time fourier transform is expressed as x function of omega or x function of j omega is equal to integral from minus infinity to plus infinity x function of t into e raised to power minus j omega t dt whereas two sided laplace transform is given as x function of s is equal to integral from minus infinity to plus infinity x function of t into e raised to power minus st dt from both these relationship it can be observed that s is equal to j omega fourier transform is primarily used for the steady state analysis of signals whereas laplace transform is used in the transient signal analysis the laplace transform is good for the system response analysis corresponding to pulses step functions delta functions while the fourier transform is good for other continuous time signal now let us consider transfer function and impulse response relationship if ht is a impulse response of a continuous time system and xt is the input applied to it then the output yt is given by the convolutional integral as yt is equal to ht convolution with xt by convolution property of the fourier transform and laplace transform the system response in frequency domain can be expressed as using fourier transform it is coming out to be y omega is equal to h omega multiplication with x omega this is the property of the fourier transform that convolution in time domain will be converted into simple multiplication in frequency domain or this can be expressed as h omega is equal to y omega divided by x omega similarly using laplace transform y function of s is also equal to h function of s multiplication with x function of s or the transfer function hs is equal to ys divided by xs here h function of omega and s function of omega are referred as transfer functions expressed using fourier transform and laplace transform respectively now let us consider an rc low pass filter circuit as shown in this figure and try to determine its transfer function using laplace transform here in this circuit v in function of s is the voltage expressed in the laplace transform and vos is the voltage at the output terminal expressed in the laplace transform and the resistance and capacitance c whose laplace transform impedance is given as 1 upon sc and the current flowing through this loop is given as is now let us apply kvl in the input loop and output loop according to kvl we will be getting v in function of s is equal to r into is plus 1 upon cs into is similarly for the output loop the vos is equal to 1 upon sc into is to get a transfer function let us divide output voltage vos with input voltage v in s accordingly we will get the transfer function is equal to hs is equal to vos upon v in s on simplification we will get 1 upon rc into 1 upon s plus 1 upon rc 
from this solution it can be observed that the maximum power of the s in the denominator is 1 therefore this is the transfer function which is of first order now let us conclude this video by floating two questions for the practice of the students in the first problem an rc circuit which is a hypers filter circuit is given and students are required to determine its transfer function in the second problem two rc circuits connected in cascade are shown in this figure and students are required to determine its transfer function in this case the transfer function will be coming out to be of second order that means that the maximum power of s in the denominator will be 2 therefore it will be termed as second order transfer function thank you dear students in next video we will start with the next chapter and the topic will be sampling of continuous time signals till then keep learning keep sharing